Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel and this is your match preview for our side Wolverhampton Wanderers travelling across the black country to face our arch rivals West Bromwich Albion in the Premier League at the Hawthorns. So much packed into this one. So yeah, as this is uh, the Black Country Derby, and it could potentially be the last one for uh, for quite a while as well, um, it's a big, big preview. Loads packed into this one. Uh, we've got the, uh, the the news coming out of obviously the Nuno's press conference. Um, we've got loads of stats and facts, which will be towards the end of the video. We've got the latest odds and chat with Leon from Bull Sports, and of course you've got my team selection and score prediction with the fantastic people over at pitch football and of course my dad Magic Moss with his prediction, uh, his latest friend and of course he's singing a song for you as well to cheer us all up especially after that dreadful performance against Burnley. Um, so let's get straight stuck into it starting off with the uh, the Nuno press conference and um, talking about the game and reacting to last week's loss Nuno has stated it's something we didn't expect to happen, a bad performance, disappointed, we played very bad. Uh, so we have to reflect, analyse and speak about it, knowing that we have to change, especially the way we play. We have to play better, be more focused. We cannot make so many mistakes because it was terrible. He says everyone's felt it uh, throughout the week. Uh, but he has said that this week has been good. We've been working hard, committed and uh, the training sessions have been going well. The approach has been exactly the same as any other game, preparing for the game in much detail as we can, trying to find a better solution uh, and decisions for the team. Talking about the, the derby and the challenge ahead facing West Brom, he says there's always a next challenge which gives you a chance to improve. We play West Brom, it means a lot to us, it means a lot to our fans, we're going to compete. It's a derby, it's a different game. West Brom have a good squad, a good manager, and they gave us a lot of problems and questions to us. It's about us competing much better than we did, and hopefully the right way, because I believe our players can do it. And to finish off with, he says, we have to fight and fight over again, action after action, all the balls we have to fight for. He also sort of re referenced uh, during his press conference that there may be other injuries in the squad. He's not actually um, revealed what those is. We knew Martinez was out with a, an ankle injury. I'm hoping he is back. And um, we know as well, obviously, the long-term injuries, but he's not revealed anything he didn't want to show his hand there has been some reports in some newspapers uh, as well coming out today that there is a potential that Raul Jimenez could be involved in these games if he's got medical clearance he obviously has been training for quite a while now with the squad could we see Raul in the match day squad on the bench I mean it would be a dream wouldn't it for him to uh, to come on and score the winner but uh, We'll have to wait and see on that one again. It's just rumours and speculations, but you know, Nuno sometimes throws these cards out there, keeps things close to his chest, and we see a surprise on the bench. And there may be a surprise in the lineup, but my particular lineup that I'm going for, I think obviously he's going to go as strong as possible. Patricio, Bali, Cody, and again, Saiz. There is an argument for Max Kilman to come in on the left side. I personally wouldn't be against that. I thought Max has done quite well. Um, recently in the middle at Matinho's fit it's got to be Matinho and Neves I would have thought I thought we missed uh, Matinho massively he's like a little terrier in the midfield and I don't think we'd have performed as bad with him in the team again on the wing back positions you've got Samedo and Ain't Norrie there isn't really much other choice obviously you can bring in Hoover as an option as well uh, on that side and then up front I expect him to start again with William Jose up front uh, and of course Daniel Pedence and Adama Traore, all of those three have to do so much better going forward. Uh, we haven't seen the best of Daniel Pedence at all since he's come back. Traore showed some glimpses in recent games, but obviously every single player to a man in the last game, we just lost every single battle, did we not? So that's my uh, my match prediction. I'm going to come back um, after you. We've heard from uh, Leon from Ball Sports and my, my chat with him and my dad with some really interesting stats ahead of this game, and of course my match prediction as well. So let's go across and have a chat 
with Leon from Boyle Sports. Hey everyone, and it's great to have Leon back from Boyle Sports after that nightmare against Burnley. Next up, the Black Country derby, Leon against our hot rivals, West Bromwich Albion. We'll never hear the last of it. We lose this one. How are you feeling, and uh, what are you thinking after the after the weekend and ahead of this one, buddy? Yeah, look, Dave. I mean, I'm in a good place here, but I was disappointed with the Wolves' performance. I think, like every Wolverhampton Wanderers fan was, they were just out fought, out battled in every kind of area, and it had been good the last two games: two one nil wins, two clean sheets. And um, obviously, Wolves had lost the two games prior to that as well, so they've lost three out of their last five. And this is a big, big game, as you rightly said, against their local rivals, West Brom. West Brom had been on a good run. They, they've won two out of the last four. They'll probably be kicking themselves that they didn't hang on against Aston Villa. Oh, it's very they came light, from though. behind. Yeah. And they played well. They had a couple of chances. Villa probably finished the game a bit better. But Big Sam knows he's only got five games left. And I think if they're to have any chance of staying up, they're going to have to win all five which I don't think is going to happen. I think West Brom are going to go down. But Wolves have got to give us a much better performance, Dave. Last time just wasn't good enough. It was totally unacceptable. I mean, and the, you know, it's probably the worst performance I've seen under Nuno the whole night. I mean, sometimes we have a bad first half and a good second half. and But the, from minute one to minute 90, just... There was just no identity there. And it was, it's a lot of people, obviously, a lot of Wolves fans are really worried um, because obviously West Brom, as you quite rightly say, they've been having a fight. They've got some quality. Pereira, you know, he's a great player for them. And they've got some good, you know, they've, they've, they've been doing well. They've been scoring some goals. And if we play like we did against Burnley, you know, we could, we, I mean, we, it would be an absolute meltdown if they, because it could happen. You know, if we play yeah, like we against you know- Burnley, we're in trouble. You know what, I'm hoping, Dave, that the kind of bad performance against Burnley might just be a wake-up call. And especially, probably no better game to go into after a poor performance than a derby. The biggest derby for these two clubs in terms of the season. You all West Brom won. They beat you 3-2 at Molyneux already. So you don't want to lose both games to your bitter rivals. Even if they do go down, the locals will have the bragging rights, of course, getting six from six. But... I think there's going to be a reaction from Wolves. The only problem that has been a big problem all season is lack of goals. We all know about the injuries to key men. But Wolves have still done really well to be the middle in the middle of the Premier League table. What are they, 11th or 12th? We're 12th in the at table. the moment, so, yeah. 12th. Yeah, so it hasn't been that bad. But I just, I struggle to see where the goals are going to come from. And I think what's got to happen is you've got to go back to the previous two performances. Keep it tight at the back. Look to try and nick that goal if Wolves can. West Brom, they have been scoring goals. But I'm surprised, actually, I have to be honest, West Brom are slight underdogs. They're 15-8. to eight. Wolves are 8-5. to five. But I'm actually going to sit on the fence here. I think this one's going to finish in a draw. I think Wolves have just got to try and keep it tight again from the start. Don't be surprised if it's one all. I don't see a lot of goals from Wolves. I hope I'm proven wrong. But the last few games have showed me there's not a lot of goals in the team at the minute. It's about trying to keep a clean sheet. So for me, I think that's got to be the number one priority. Keep it very, very tight at the back. Because West Brom, when you've got nothing to lose, Dave, you go and you attack and you take chances and you take risks. And that's why they're scoring goals. But hopefully they might leave a few gaps at the other end. I think you've hit the nail on the head there. I mean, a bit like Burnley. I mean, you got. I have to take my hat off to the way Burnley played. I mean, they were absolutely magnificent uh, and they, they totally deserved the, the victory, um, but we had no answer. They were pressing us, and we, could, you know, we didn't have the quality like I'd expect for us to get through it. I expect West Brom to attack, like you say. They need the points. Uh, the minimum requirement they need to win four out of the last five games. I think it's a tall order when they've only, I think, won five games all season. Um, I mean, you said about the draw being one-one. I'd be interested on the odds for that, and also the first goal scorer and the anytime goal scorers, uh, Leon. Yeah, look, I mean, the first goal scorer market, you know, like as you and I have said a couple of times, it's no surprise here to see Pereira as the five to one favourite. Because as you mentioned, he has been a real shining light and he takes their penalties. He takes a lot of their free kicks as well. Callum Robertson has chipped in with a few goals. He's an Irish player, doesn't score an awful lot. But as of late, he started to chip in with a couple. He's six to one alongside Jose and alongside Silva. 
anytime if you fancy Jose two to one. Silva is also two to one. Pereira once again is the favourite at seven to four to score at any time. The one all draw, which is what I'm going to go for, I it's a five to one chance at the minute. I just I, I'm just looking at Wolves and I think defence has got to come in for this big derby because shipping four goals against Burnley not looking like scoring. Nuno's got to tighten it back up at, at the back and I think he will. And I think the players will also want themselves to put in a much better performance. I can see a much improved performance than the one against Burnley, but I don't think it's going to be enough to claim all three points. That's why I'm sitting on the fence. Two to one if you just want to back the draw or five to one if you want to follow me with one all. No, that's absolutely fantastic. And my dad has always got a nice little favourite. He calls him Bonanza. Daniel Pedence, is there any odds on him uh, for a goal? So he's... Well, look, he's, I mean, at the moment, Dave, he's nine to one to score the first goal in the game. But maybe a safer bet here might be the three to one at any time. Yeah. Because in fairness to Pedence, hasn't scored in a couple of games, but he is capable of popping up with a goal. And if you don't want to take the shorter odds, around Jose or around Silva, maybe Pedence is your one, nine to one first or three to one any time. Absolutely brilliant. Well, I'm just, literally, I'm hoping, like you say, for a, a reaction. I think all Wolves fans are. It's the minimum requirement we're looking for the team is that fight, energy and passion. You know what it's like when you're in a local derby. The minimum is the effort and the fight for every single ball. I personally believe if we can win the battles, get on the front foot, I'm hoping that we can edge it, um, you know. So I'm going to probably, uh, as always, just go for that Wolves win. Fingers crossed for as long as we don't lose. But like, if we do win and results go against Albion over the weekend, if Newcastle and Brighton pick up points, a Wolves victory, ironically enough, Leon, could relegate our local rivals back to the Championship. And wouldn't you like that, Dave? Uh, I can see the little smirk on your face. You'd love that to happen. And why not? You're a Wolves fan. But 1-0, which Wolves have won the two previous games, is actually 13-2, to two, six and a half to one. But I find it hard not to see West Brom scoring at least one um, because I just feel the chances they're creating is all down to the way they're playing. They don't mind leaving gaps behind them because they have to go and try and get three points. I'm still sticking with one all of five to one. Nice one. And uh, everyone uh, watching this again, absolutely delighted to have uh, Leon with us. And don't forget, if you check the link in the description below, you've got the Boil Sports app and they're offering £20 uh, for new customers. Just throw a tenner in there. And as always, make sure that you bet small, enjoy and only bet what you can afford. That's right in it, Leon. Absolutely, Dave. It's all about having a little bit of fun. While you're watching the game, always only bet what you can afford to lose. That has to be the key. Absolutely. And thank you again, Leon, for joining us on this one. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks ever so much to Leon. And now we go across again uh, for a bit of a cheer me up moment again with my dad, Magic Moss. So I'm here with Dad. How are you doing, Dad? And Fine, David. How are you? Oh, I'm not too bad. And you've got a new friend today. Who's this? It's Nigel. Nigel. And he's a proper yeah. Wolves fan. Oh yeah, yeah. He's oh, well, no problem. He's been a bit upset lately, though. Well, I think we all have. I think we could do. I think we could do with Nigel playing up front. <laughs> That's a good idea, David. It's he's idea. actually. He's, he's nearly as tall as Pedence in here. You know? <laughs> Your favourite. Bonanza. No, no, so, Dad, that. obviously a terrible result against Burnley. They were yeah, absolutely yeah, terrible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, worst performance probably under Nuno. Yeah, yeah. What are you expecting for the West Brom game, Dad? Oh, Black we, Country we, Derby. We shall win that one. 3-1. Three, 3-1? One. Three, one. One, yeah. A bit of magic stuff. Today. And who's scoring the goals? We'll have Bolly. Willie Bolly. Willie Bolly. Yeah, what's his first name? Ryan, eh? <laughs> Willie, not Ryan, no. No, Willie, eh? Yeah. And then we'll have, is it William? William Joss? W William Jose. William Jose. 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 Not Jose, Jose. J Jose. And who else? Um, Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll have uh, Nigel, no, we'll have uh, Bonanza. Bonanza. Uh, and uh, that's fine. I hope you're right, Dad. Oh, and uh, you've got a nice shirt on there. Yeah. Um, what's the What's your song for this week? Uh, all you All you lady fans like to listen to you. You, you, you sing. <laughs> you. 
You're kidding me. No, no, you've got yeah. fans, Dad, all oh. over the world. <coughs> Magic Moss, what are you going to sing? Uh, Here we go. Three, two, one. Just sing it in the rain. Just sing it in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. I laugh with the clouds. The stars up above. I'm ready to do. And I'm ready for love. I love that. I'm a ring-a-ding-ding -ding and I'm ready for love. You forgot the word, Dad. Oh, well. I used a bit of showers today. I hope that we are happy again after the match yeah. against West Brom. Yeah, we Crikey, will. We, we will lose. Be Fantastic. Love you lots, Dad. Thanks, Davey. And you, Davey. Look after yourself, son. Thanks ever so much to my dad. Right then, let's get stuck into some interesting stats ahead of this one. So West Brom have actually won their last three league games against Wolves. Uh, last winning more consecutive games against us was uh, in 1929 to 1932 season. Uh, Wolves are winless in our last nine away games against West Brom, drawing four and losing five. Not since that 4-2 win back in September 96 as Wolves beaten West Brom at the Hawthorns. And indeed, Wolves only have netted three goals in all of those nine games, failing to score on six occasions. Uh, West Brom have won two of the last four Premier League home games, as many as they've won in their previous 19. Interestingly as well, Wolves have remained the only team not to lose in the Premier League this season when scoring first. The problem is, we don't score first that often. Only West Brom and Sheffield United have opened the scoring, scoring less times than Wolves this season. But Wolves, on the other hand, are looking to keep three consecutive away clean sheets for the first time in the top flight since March 1960. And no side in the Premier League have scored fewer goals in the first 15 minutes of a game than our team Wolves. And another not great stat is West Brom manager Sam Allardyce has faced Wolves without losing more often than any other side in the Premier League. Six occasions winning four and drawing two. Whew. So, um, yeah, not great stats. I mean, as I say, long times, 90, 96 since Wolves beat Wolves at the Hawthorns. And I, I did a poll after the yesterday on the Always Wolves um Twitter handle and as you can see there is not a lot of confidence ahead of this game uh, from the Wolves faithful I mean low in confidence on the expectation to uh, to get a result out of this as always I'm always trying to be um, to be positive of course um, I think like every Wolves fan you know disappointed with the performance last week the minimum minimum the absolute minimum requirement for this game is fight, battle, energy, pride for the shirt. They have to win the battles. They have to start fast. I expect West Brom will be on the front foot straight away. If they look at how Burnley played us, you know, they close us down. They had loads of energy and Wolves have got to match that because West Brom absolutely have to win. I mean, they're near enough all but damn it down, but they still have hope and they have picked up recently and picked up some good results. Pereira is an absolute danger man from set pieces. He's, you know, if we let him have a free reign, he can really hurt us. And they've got other players in the side that can really hurt us. And they have stopped leaking goals, as we've mentioned. So it's going to be a tough proposition. Um, but, you know, in some ways, maybe the Burnley defeat did us a lot of good. Because, you know, there's got to be a lot of soul-searching. And I expect Wolves to come out with a lot more stealer attitude. When we've had bad results in the past... Almost consecutively, we've then gone and got a clean sheet the game after. I expect that to be the case again. I'm going to go and be positive. I'm going to say it's going to be a tough game, no doubt about it. Um, but I'm, Wolves are going to break this hoodoo that uh, West Brom have held over. If we go down again, if they go down and we've not beaten them, and they're still going to be harping on about that 5-1, and yeah, we got relegated, but we beat you twice, so we can't be having that, can we? Surely not. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 a victory for Wolves. Personally, I've got a feeling that Daniel Pedance is going to net one, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's uh, we get a goal from a corner of the volley or or um, Connor Cody, but I would love absolutely love to see a Matinho or Neves special they're overdue surely as well and the little 
little one little side of me thinks would this be the day that we got our own back uh, for that 5-1 defeat? Wouldn't it be marvellous if Wolves replicated something like that and at the same time pretty much sent them back down to the Championship? You know, that would be extra special. Uh, but <laughs> obviously that's a tall, tall order. But, you know, it would be particularly nice, would it not? But I'm going to stick with my 2-0 uh, my and just hope we play well and we battle well and we absolutely win this game. I really don't want us to lose to West Brom again. Anyway, I really hope that you value these games. Uh, I hope you can join me for the watch-along 20 minutes before kickoff. And, of course, uh, extra time with me and Amy. This will be 10 o'clock, 10 p.m., on the evening of the match so if you want to get involved with that please message the always walls facebook page and we'll get you on uh, regardless win lose or draw we'll get we'll be on talking about the game without any shadow of a doubt so yeah fingers crossed we have to win the battles we have to show pride and passion do the basics and then let the quality shine through come on my babies